For weeks, elective surgeries at Kentucky hospitals have been put on hold. With many of those procedures back on surgeon schedules beginning this week, there's a need from the public. Blood in the bank. LAX 18's Claire Kopsky has that story. The Kentucky Blood Center is sounding the alarm. Blood has a shelf life and we're getting into the point where we need people to come back out again. Come back out to give in a way you may not have before, the way many did in March when the Blood Center asked for donors. Now more than 56 days later, those same people are eligible to donate again. All those folks that rolled up their sleeves when we needed them the most, it's, it's time to come back again and, and continue to make this a habit and donate every time they're eligible. Colleges, universities, and high schools shuttered, so too are the blood drives they normally hold on campus. Well, we know those same people are sitting at home and maybe looking for something to do, um, a way to be healthy and get out. Um, and so this is a great way to come out, roll up your sleeves um, and help your fellow Kentuckians. She says she knows for many giving blood at a time like this is scary, but explains they're doing all that they can to maintain a sterile environment and are offering the ability to fill out paperwork ahead of time to limit the time inside the center. We have to, the beds are all distanced at least six feet apart. We're cleaning everything in between every donor. So. You know, we're doing everything we can to make sure it's a safe and simple process for a donor. Safe and simple, but also fast. So the whole process, you're usually in and out of our donor center in 45 minutes, but the actual time that you're spending donating the blood, you know, with the needle in the arm, um, typically is five to eight minutes. Five to eight minutes that could save three lives. In Lexington, Claire Kopsky, LEX 18 News. The Kentucky Blood Center is also taking plasma donations from recovered COVID-19 patients. They hope to create a plasma bank, so if we see a resurgence of cases, they're prepared to help hospitals with the plasma supply.